Wow, Alex. Thanks for inviting me to this party. I know you're a famous YouTuber now, but do you think that I really should be here? Ah, uh, come on, Shane. Just because I'm famous doesn't mean I'm gonna change. Wow, I, I really appreciate that. Maybe I'll start my own YouTube channel someday. Uh, ew. Who's this nobody? How'd you even get in here? Hey, I'm not a nobody. I'm friends with Alex. He invited me. Alex, I thought you were cool. You're friends with this loser? Wait, what? No, no, no. I don't even know this guy. He must have snuck in or something. Dude, what are you talking about? Hey, security. This guy over here shouldn't be here. Get him out. Wow, what a loser. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But I'm friends with Alex. He invited me. All right, let's go. Hey, stop. Put me down. All right. Huh. Oh, what the heck, dude? What are you gonna do? Cry? Poor little nobody. Just get lost before I call the police. Man, I can't believe Alex turned his back on me like that. Hey, you! Yeah, you with the stupid face! You just ruined my shot! We're live, you know! Yeah, get out of the shot, idiot! I'm sorry, man. I just got thrown out here. I didn't mean to. Stop talking! Quiet on the set! Boss, our views are skyrocketing right now. Wait, what? Yeah, all because this nobody looks like a complete idiot. They love it. Ha ha, sweet. Let's dump slime on him or push him until he cries. We need more views. No, stop. Come on, leave me alone. Let's get him. Keep rolling. Get back here, you stupid nobody. Hey, kid, got some pizza. You better eat up. It's probably the last meal we'll have for a while. Why, is everything okay? No, it's not okay. I just lost my job at the factory. If I don't find a new one soon, we'll have to sell the trailer. Don't worry, Dad. Once I become rich and famous, everything will be fine. I'll take care of everyone. You'll see. Ugh, stop with this stupid famous stuff. Get a real job and quit being a loser. I wanted to be a baseball player. Did that happen? No! I faced reality and I got a job. Hey, well, I'm not a loser, okay? Just because you gave up on your dream doesn't mean I have to give up on mine. I've had enough. Take a walk, Shane. I don't even want to look at you right now. Maybe you'll come to your senses. I'm not going to give up no matter what. I'll prove everyone wrong. I'll be famous one day. He'll see. All right, time to film my first video. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone. Welcome to day one of my vlog series. Today, I'm going to show you my journey to becoming a famous YouTuber. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do it right now. I believe that anyone can achieve success, even if they start as a nobody. So I'm just going to film my journey, and I hope you all like it. And all right. Well, I think that was pretty good. Hey, Shane. What's up, dude? I saw you filming. You still working on your YouTube channel? What do you want, Alex? Just wanted to hang out. I mean, I'm going to this really cool movie premiere tonight, and I thought you might want to come with me. Why would I want to do that? So you can pretend like you don't know me again and make fun of me? Whoa, whoa, what's up the dude, bro? We're still friends. I just have to act a little differently around my famous friends. You know, for show. Your friends don't act like that, man. I don't want to be around someone who treats me differently. Well, fine then. If that's how you feel, go ahead. Be a nobody and be a loser. You'll always be one. I'll make sure to tell everyone what a big loser you actually are. You'll never be famous like me. Never want to be like you. You change, man. Not for the better. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'm off to do cool famous people stuff. You'll never know what it's like. Have fun being a nobody. Hey, Shane! Oh, hey, Vince. Man, it's been ages, dude. What's up? What brings you here? Yeah, sorry. It's been a while. I've been busy filming videos and trying to make some money for me and my dad. Is everything okay? No, oh, man. Things aren't really that great. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's actually why I'm here. I need to ask you something. All right. What is it? Look, you're the best editor I know. Think you could help edit my videos? Oh, uh... Yeah, I don't know, Shane. Last person I edited videos for was Alex. Trust me, man. I'm not like Alex. He's changed. He's been awful, man. He was so mean to me. Like, I don't even want to get into it. I just need some help from a friend. Yeah, I get that. It's just, after editing Alex's videos, like, he was really mean to me, too. It ruined our friendship, and I don't want that to happen to us. Look, man, I promise I won't let that happen. Just please give me a chance. All right, all right. I I'll do it. Man, I gotta come up with a new idea for a video. I wonder what it's gonna be. Wait, is that him? Shut up, camera guy! Get this on video! Hey, everyone! The Kevinator is back! And look! It's Shane, the new YouTuber I made famous! What do you want, Kelvin? I saw your video! You really think you could be a YouTuber? That thing was so boring. Yeah, I do, all right? It was my first video. I know it's not going to be perfect. Oh, yeah? Then let's prove it. I'm going to challenge you to a subscriber off. A subscriber off? What do you mean? Whoever reaches 10,000 subscribers the fastest wins. 
loser can never make another video again. No, quick, subscribe to my channel right now so this doesn't happen. Are you scared, Shane? <laughs> Afraid you'll lose to an actual famous YouTuber like me? I think he's scared, Kelvin. I'm not scared. I'm gonna do my best. You'll see. Yeah, your best? Well, it looks like your channel is gonna be over before it even starts. <laughs> Come on, camera guy. I have an idea for a new video. Oh man, please, I need all the support that I can get. Please subscribe to my channel so that Kelvin doesn't win. And cut. I think this is gonna work, dude. I know it. The Kelvin guy's super weird. I know. Uh, hey, Dad, you wanna be in my video? No, I don't. Vince, I think it's time for you to go home. Uh, yeah, I think it's time for me to go. I'll start editing this right now. I'll catch you later, dude. What's wrong, Dad? This dumb YouTube stuff ends right now. I got you a real job, and you're coming to work with me. You start on Friday. Uh, yeah, thanks, Dad, but I, I don't need a regular job. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't think you're gonna do anything. I'm not gonna have you wasting your time making dumb videos. I put my neck out there for you, and this is the opportunity you're getting. Well, look, Dad, I'm glad that you found a new job, but I don't want that job. I'm not gonna stop making YouTube videos. It's what I love to do. I don't care. You have a job, and you better be there on Friday. It's time for you to face reality, Shane. Hey, Kelvin. Ugh, what do you want, Shane? Why did you want to meet me? I'm busy. Guess what, man? I hit 10,000 subscribers. What? Yeah, I won the challenge. No, no, that's not fair. How did you get so many subscribers so quickly? Oh, you bought them, didn't you? Why didn't I think of that? No, I didn't. Turns out I was already halfway there before we even started the challenge. Plus, I made a really good video and people liked it. No, this isn't fair. People only subscribe to you because they think you're weird and lame and felt bad for you. No, that's not true. They subscribe because they like my content. Well, whatever. Does this mean I have to stop posting videos now? Would you have made me stop if you won? Yeah, obviously. I mean, I make incredible content. I'm not just gonna stop. Look, man, I'll tell you what. If you can stop being a completely terrible person all the time, you can keep making videos. Ugh, all right, fine. How do I stop being the worst? Man, this job sucks. Can't believe I'm stuck here. I guess if it makes my dad happy, I gotta do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's true. Look, Benny, look. It's the famous nobody working a stupid minimum wage job. Ew, what happened to you? Looks like you're poor and sad and not famous. <laughs> yeah, good one, Benny. Hey, you know what? We're doing what we have to do for our family. It doesn't matter how much money we're making. We're trying. It's not about being famous all the time. Well, a real famous person wouldn't stoop this low. You're just proving how much of a nobody you really are. God, this is like the express lane to being completely nobody. I don't care what you think. I'm working hard to help support me and my family. It doesn't matter if I'm famous or not. My dreams will come true someday. Yeah, what is going on here? This is a place of work, not a playground. Oh my gosh, you're Benny. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan of your work. Ah, of course you're a fan. I'm awesome. Yeah, yeah, you are. What brings you here? This guy's been harassing us. Us, making fun of famous people. No, it's not true. I would never do that. I can't tolerate such behavior. This is Benny we're talking about. The Benny. Yeah, this guy's the worst. I agree. Shane, you're fired. Seriously? You know what? Whatever. I don't even want the stupid job anyway. See ya. Oh, man. I hope Dad isn't too upset. It wasn't my fault I got fired, and I just hope that it didn't get him in trouble. Dad, hey, uh, we gotta talk. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Why are you packing? Why do you think I'm packing? We both got fired today. What? That stupid stunt you pulled with those stupid YouTubers got me fired. After my boss fired you, he let me go. So now I've got to sell the trailer. Why? I mean, I didn't think you were going to get fired too. Doesn't matter. The point is we're both out of jobs now. That's because of your stupid, stupid dream. Hey, I didn't want this to happen, all right? I didn't ask for those guys to come down here. It wasn't supposed to affect you. Well, great job, kid, because it did. Where are we going? What are we going to do? I know where I'm going. As for you, you're on your own. You made your choices, and now you've got to face your consequences. So this is the unit. It's got walls. It's got floors. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly what I was hoping for. This is the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, whatever. The smell isn't bad. You want to know? Uh, I don't know. How much? I know it's not much. If you want better place, you have to pay higher rent. The price I quote you is non-negotiable. Wait, you said $5,000 a week. That's way too much. How can anyone afford that? I said what I said. You either want it or not. Look, I don't have that kind of money. I I've got like maybe $500 a month I can make. You're poor. No way. Not happening. $500 a month. 
mean, I can also help out with the building. I can clean, do repairs, whatever you need. Hmm, this place is a mess. And I don't like fixing things. Look, after I clean this place up, I'll even put the apartment in my, my videos and stuff. Give it some positive exposure. People might actually want to live here. Oh, that means I could make more money. Hmm, if you think your videos will help, I can't promise anything but fine. Just make sure you're not late with the rent or you're out. Oh man, okay. Yeah, this place is terrible. You know, Shane, hitting 10,000 subscribers was great, but I think we need something more substantial to really take off. You're right. We need to try something new. Something like Beal, you know? Man, it looks like he's going through a hard time, huh? Oh, that guy? Yeah, I see him around here all the time. Yeah, let's, let's get him something to eat. Hey, man. Here you go. I hope this helps. Helps? You're a lifesaver, kid. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a while since someone was nice to me. Well, I think everyone deserves some kindness, you know? You don't mind me asking, how did you end up out here? Well, I was an army vet, but but life took some unexpected turns and I've been down on my luck ever since. Man, I'm really sorry to hear that. What about your family? Do you have anyone? I did have a family once. Wife, two beautiful kids, things tore us apart, and I don't even know where they are. Well, look, I got some extra cash. I know it's not much. I'm I'm kind of broke too, but I want you to take it and find somewhere to stay, all right? Whoa, thank you, son. Thank you so much. You know what? After a few hours of really serious cleaning, this place isn't so bad, but I'm not gonna live here forever. Once I start making some money and I get famous, I'll be out of here in no time. Wow, the nobody YouTuber. Sweeping the streets like an insignificant person he is. Yo, what's your problem, dude? Why are you always trying to tear me down? Aw, oh, come on, Shane. I'm filming a video. Don't mess this up. Well, you can't film here. You have to film with me. It's my new series where I expose trash YouTubers. And you're at the top of the list. You used to be my friend. Now all you care about is fame and tearing other people down? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, please, Shane. I saw your last video. Garbage. Pure garbage. You're just such a loser. It's so sad. You know what, man? At least I tried, okay? I'm doing what I want to do. Why does it matter? That's the whole point of YouTube. And also, man, like, I just really genuinely don't care what you have to say. Like, I really don't. You've just turned into such a bad person. Like, anything you tell me just doesn't matter. Yeah, well, whatever. <sighs> this video is gonna suck if you're in it. I'm gonna just scrap it. This whole place sucks, too. I hope your channel crashes and burns. Yeah, well, you'll see, man. Dude, have you seen the comments on your newest video? Yeah, they seem pretty positive. There's a lot of them, huh? Uh, yeah. And after you uploaded it, people started a Let's Fund Me campaign to help that guy out. Dude, that's awesome. And don't forget about Alex's video. Dude, did you see that? It was a complete failure. But people are subscribing to your channel like crazy. I know. I went from 10,000 to 100,000 subscribers. And we're finally actually making some money, which is amazing. So what's your plan for the next video? It's gonna be something really cool, man. You'll see. Yeah, you know, my great-grandfather built this place from the ground up. Really? Oh, yeah. He moved all the way from Bloxburg. Been in our family for generations. It means the world to us. We're not just serving pizza. We're serving our family's history, you know? Wow, that's incredible, man. This isn't an ordinary pizza shop. It's really amazing that your family stuck together and, and built this thing. Also, the food's really good. Yeah, I know. I see you in here all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But wait, you have to close this restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Business ain't what it used to be. Uh, soon, I won't even be able to pay my employees. Won't even be able to afford stuff to make the pizza. Well, look, man, I'm gonna do everything that I can to help you out, okay? Here, here's some money. Whoa, whoa, Shane, I didn't say that. I don't need any of your money, all right? But, I mean, this, uh, this really could help. Yeah, we'll take it, man. You know what? Once we get back on our feet, free pizza for life. All right, awesome. And cut. Man, this is gonna make an awesome video. Yeah, I felt really good about this, man. I want to try to help out as many people as I can. Hey, Shane! Shane! Hey, what are you doing here? You can't just barge into my apartment like this. Yeah, well, I need your help. What? No, get out of here, dude. Stop messing with me. Shane, I'm gonna lose it, dude! Lose it! What? what is it? I need you to make a video with me. What? No, not a chance. Come on! We can talk about how we're friends and how I was just joking around and stuff, you know? I want people to know that I'm cool. I mean, I mean that we're cool. No, dude, I'm not making a video with you. I'm not gonna pretend like we're friends. After everything you did, no way. Yeah, you are, dude. I mean, I'm famous. Come on. Who cares? You turned your back on me. 
Why should I help you now? Look, I get it. I messed up, all right? But I need this. I need people to know I'm not a bad guy. You can't hold grudges forever. Yeah, but the thing is, dude, is like you've changed, okay? You've been nothing but terrible to me and other people. How can I pretend like everything's fine? And how do I know that you're gonna change? You're just doing this because you want some more fame. That's it. Yeah, I do want some more fame. You're really not gonna help me? No, I'm not gonna help you, dude. Ugh, I hate you. You're such a bad friend. I don't need your help. I'll be famous on my own. You're going to regret this, Shane. You better watch your back. I'm coming for you. Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, what do you want? I just wanted to come see you, see how you're holding up. Finally decided to give up on that stupid YouTube stuff? No. Of course not. Look, man, things are starting to pick up for me. I'm making really good money now, and, and I want to help you. You don't have to live like this anymore. You did it. Yeah, well, I don't need your charity, Shane. I'm doing fine on my own. I got my job, and everything's good. I don't need you being some kind of hero. Look, it's not about charity, Dad. I mean, I want to help you because you're my dad, and I love you. I mean, we were trying to work together before, and it didn't work out. What's the difference between me working there and me doing YouTube? I want us both to have a better life together. Enough of this emotional garbage, okay? Tired of hearing about your big dreams. Dreams are nothing but a waste of time. It's not gonna amount to anything, and I don't need your empty promises. Not giving up, Dad. This means something to me. You gotta stop being so angry. Be more open-minded. I'm here for you. Dad, I love you. Just go, Shane. Leave me alone. <laughs> Fine, if that's what you want. Dude, we did it! We hit a million subscribers! Can you believe it? Yeah, dude, this is great! Congratulations, man! Yeah, and thanks for all the help, man. But we still got a long way to go, you know? We might be the first people to reach a billion subscribers. A billion subscribers? You really think we can do that? Yeah, dude. I mean, we went from zero to a million. Why can't we go to a billion? Well, then I guess we better just get back to work. So, spill the beans. You said you had a new idea for your video. What is it? Yeah, man. You're just gonna have to wait and see. Dude, all right, look, so this guy's house burned down and, and we've made enough money where we can just buy him a new one. I think we really should. Dude, this is an incredible idea. This is gonna change this guy's life. Yeah, I know. I mean, our lives change for the better and we gotta help other people out too, you know? Well, everything's set up for tomorrow, so we should go get some sleep. Renovating this place has got me totally exhausted. So Shane just decides to buy a stupid house? This place sucks. Everyone's gonna be talking about this and I can't let that happen. I'm not gonna let him make his stupid YouTube video. I'm not gonna let him win! I hate you, Shane! Ah! 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 Now make sure you're just as miserable as I am! Ah! Alright, man, it's time to see your new home. Yo, this is insane, dude! I don't even know what to say! You don't have to say anything. You and your family didn't deserve to go through what you went through, and we wanted to do something special for you. You deserve it, man. Oh, this is awesome! Can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Really appreciate it. I might cry. Come on, let's see this place. All right, let's head in and check out your new home. Uh, Shane? Dude, what's going on here? Is this some kind of prank? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh! Yeah, not a funny joke, dude. No, no, dude, this isn't a joke. I don't understand how this happened. Someone must have vandalized the house. It was perfect yesterday. You mean you didn't do this? Look, I promise it wasn't me. I'll make this right. I'll find you another house. You deserve a fresh start. Look, I know you mean well, but I don't want you to do that. Figure something else out. Thanks anyways, dude. It's nice to see you, I guess. Man! Hey, hey, this isn't your fault, dude. We couldn't have seen this coming. Well, let's just figure out what happened, all right? We gotta find another way to help this guy. Who could have done something like this, man? It's just terrible. Man, this guy won't return to any of my calls. He's probably still mad about the house. I don't blame him, I'd be mad too. It made us look so stupid. Yo, dude. You're not gonna believe what I found out. So, you know how we set up security cameras in Derek's house? They captured everything. Take a look at this. Oh, dude, of course it's Alex. He ruined everything. And not only that, he hurt this poor guy that really needed some help. Yeah, this guy is insane. You think we should just call the cops? No, I don't think that's enough. I don't think Alex is gonna learn his lesson. People need to know what he's doing. It's not fair. Hey, bro, what's going on? Ew, how'd you even get in here? You're not welcome here, man. What do you mean? I come here all the time. Yeah, not anymore. Shane's new video said everything that you did to him, man. It shows how much of a nobody you really are. Wait, what? 
No, 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 I'm famous. It was just like a prank I did on that stupid loser. Don't listen to him. Dude, destroyed a house that Shane bought for a kid who lost everything. It's not funny, man. I'm cool and I'm famous, but I wouldn't even stoop that low. Look, I, I didn't realize, okay? Uh, I was just trying to get back at Shane. I never meant for it to go this far. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter, man. Not only that, you're losing your subscribers, dude. And that means not famous, not cool. You know this house has a clear no nobody policy, okay? You're nobody, so get out. No, no. Wait, Benny, come on. Look, I'll say I'm sorry to Shane and that dumb kid of the house I destroyed. Look, don't do this, bro. Like, come on. I want to be famous. Yeah, but you're not anymore, dude. Unfollow, unsubscribe, whatever. Security, get this stupid nobody out of here. Later, loser. Yo, did you see it, man? We just hit 100 million subscribers. We're really on our way to a billion. 100 million subscribers? What? Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Yo, Shane, you're my favorite YouTuber. You've been such a huge inspiration to me. It's awesome. I want to help people too like you and I grow up. Please teach me how to be rich and famous too. I want to be a YouTuber. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Calm down. It's cool. Uh, it means the world to me, though. I'm, I'm glad that, that you like the content stuff. You're awesome. Bye. Thank you. Whoa. That dude was really excited to see you. Yeah, it's good. I just, my dad could be here to enjoy all this with me. I'm trying to reach out to him. Just doesn't even want to talk. Just give him time, Shane. He'll come around eventually. I hope so. It'd be the world to me if I could have him back in my life, you know? Oh, dude. Gosh, I got to get out of here. Sorry. Just bought a new house. I'll, I'll catch up with you later, man. Yeah, later. New house? Epic. Man, moving's terrible, but this place is sick. Definitely worth it. Shane, I lost everything, okay? Alex, dude, how do you keep finding me? Seriously, it's getting creepy. I'm a nobody now, just like you. I need help. Yeah, I don't know if I can help you, man. You know, you made your choices and you chose to be a bad person. Look, I just didn't have the support I needed. You were supposed to be my friend, but you were too focused on yourself. I wasn't focused on myself, man. I was there for you. You treated me like I was a piece of garbage. You threw me under the bus as soon as your rich friends came around. And then all you did was try to hurt me after. Dude, that seems like it's kind of on you. Are you kidding me? I stood by you when no one else did. What? No, you didn't, dude. You literally made fun of me every single chance that you could get in front of everybody all the time. You could have supported me, you know, but you didn't. You don't care about me, dude. You just want to use me. You care about you. That's it. Yeah, and I need to be famous. You got to help me. This is your fault. You owe me. I don't owe you anything, man. Only way I can help you is to give you some advice. Let's take a look at yourself, man. Figure out what you really want to be. Stop being so insecure. Just be who you are. Stop treating everybody else so bad. It's not fair to them, and it's not really cool. Nobody likes it. Yeah, well, I like it. <sighs> Whatever. Figured you wouldn't understand. Poor losing nobody. Ugh. Can you believe this, Vince? This place is incredible. Never imagined my life could get this good. Yeah, dude, your house is sick. And you have this whole editing room? I mean, come on, dude. This is an editor's dream. I love it. Yeah, dude, I do too. You've worked so hard for this. Now we finally got everything we need. Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's a weird feeling because I always believed that we would get here, but it sort of feels like a dream, you know? Yeah, well, we better wake up because we've got a whole lot of work to do. So what's next? I want to start a massive food kitchen for the homeless. I want to make sure that no one in our city goes hungry. Oh, I like that idea. Well, I think it's going to be kind of tough. No, it's a big dream, man, but we can do it. We can do anything we put our minds to. Hey, here you go, man. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Shine. I'm glad to know there's still good people like you out there. This looks good. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm just doing what I can. Everyone should have access to basic necessities. No one should go hungry. Ooh, I'm not going to go hungry after this. You know, your parents must be pretty proud of you. You're a great guy. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Dad? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, hey, kid. I, I didn't realize. I mean, you know that this is my food bank, right? No, I had no idea. I didn't mean to cause any trouble, okay? I, I can leave. Oh, no, there's no trouble. This is it. This is why I wanted to work so hard at YouTube. Look what I've been able to do. I've been able to give back to everybody. Yeah, you, uh, you did a really good job. Yeah, that's a lot coming from you. Look, all right? I was, uh, too focused on myself and my own pride. I see what this dream is really about now, and couldn't be prouder of you. Look, Dad, like, I can help you. Please, just let's get you back on your feet, huh? Yeah, I'm not doing so good. I think you're right. I think it's time I actually accept your help. It's always been here for you, Dad. I'm glad you're okay. Dude, congratulations! 
500 million subscribers. You're halfway to your goal. Thanks, Vince. I can't believe it, dude. This has been absolutely amazing. Hey, look, news is talking about your food bank. Hey, what's up, everybody? Your favorite person, Chet Flenderson. In a wild turn of events, this once ordinary man, Shane, has taken the city by storm. His food bank has become one of the most successful in the world, and he's on his way to being one of the most famous people ever. And that's coming from me, Chet Flenderson, the famous newsman. Dude, you're on the news. This is so sick. Well, in other news, a heavily misguided individual named Alex tried to copy Shane. He opened his own food bank, but tragically ended up hospitalizing six people and was subsequently run out of town. Turns out you actually have to refrigerate food and cook it the right way. He got a lot of people sick. What an idiot. Oh man, that's terrible. Those poor people. We, we should help him out. Yeah, well, let's make some calls and see what we can do. Dad, isn't this awesome? This is your new house. It looked bigger in the picture. Seriously? Are you kidding me? Of course not. Can't believe you did this for me, Shane. Wow, thank you. Hey, what's going on, man? You've been acting differently lately. Yeah, kid, I've changed. I had a change of heart. Well, it took you long enough. I finally realized what you've been trying to accomplish, and I realized I've been acting like a complete jerk. Wow, never thought I'd hear you say that. I've been so blind, but not anymore. I've got your back, son, supporting you and your career. You always hated my videos, you know? I know, I know, and I regret it every single day. I mean, you're changing lives, and you're making people happy, and you're happy, and that's what's important. Thanks, Dad. That really means a lot. And what are you doing just standing around here, Shane? We should record this and make this a video. The world would probably love to see this. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Ben, start rolling. Benny! Oh, Alex. Thought I made it clear. We don't want nobody losers here, man. Whatever, okay? I gotta talk to you. Did you see Shane's last video? Yeah, the emotional one with his dad. It was sick, man. It was so cool to see them come together. Yeah, whatever. It was so lame. Listen, I need your help, okay? I want to make a video ruining Shane's life. But no, nah, man. I don't know what your problem is. This guy was your friend. He was kind of a nobody, but now he's not. So I think he's cool. You think he's cool? No, you can't. I need your help. I can't do this on my own. You suck, Benny. Yeah? Okay, man. Why don't I just start filming this? You come in here starting acting like a crazy person, man. You need to chill out, okay? That's why no one likes you. You suck. Yo, dude. Did you see Benny's new video? He made it all about Alex. Oh, yeah. I saw it, man. Alex looks ridiculous. I don't know what his problem is. So what are you going to do? He said Alex is determined to, like, ruin your life. Yeah, Alex is determined to do a lot of things, man. Look, we're closing in on 1 billion subscribers. Who cares what he thinks? We might hit it tomorrow. Really? Then what are we going to do? I don't know, man. You'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to our special guest, the most famous man in the world, Shane. He has reached 1 billion subscribers. Proud of you, son. You deserve this. Thanks, Dad. I told you I'd be famous one day. Here he is! Now, Shane, we have your billion subscriber play button. Go on over and take a look. Wow. Ha, uh, not if I have anything to say about it. Get pranked, fool! That's enough for you, you mean evil ma'ams. You coming with me, y'all. What? No! Why do you have to be like this, man? That's right. Shane gave me a call and said that I had to arrest you because you is really dumb, y'all. No! No, this is gonna ruin me! Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the disruption from this huge nobody. Let's remove him from YouTube and delete his channel. What? No! I can't believe it, I'm famous. My dream finally came true. This is incredible. Uh, who's that homeless man? What? Who is this guy? He's a nobody. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Oh, I I'm sorry. I just saw the red carpet and I always wanted to be famous. I didn't know what I was doing. Well, you are not famous. You're trespassing. Security. Ah, I hate this job. Yeah, what do you want? I want you to remove this man off the red carpet immediately. Look, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. I made a mistake. The only mistake made today was looking at your ugly face. Ew. Gross homeless person. Get off the red carpet. Please, no, I'm sorry. Get out of here. Go, go. You know, I shouldn't have to listen to those people. They have no idea who I am or what I've been through. I just wish I could go back to my old life. I miss my wife. We both wanted to build a YouTube channel together and we could make a difference in the world. But I keep having this nightmare of that storm. But don't worry, I'm gonna make good on our promise. And I gotta get out of this rain before I catch a cold. 
Oh man, that feels a whole lot better. Oh my gosh, it's you. Yeah, I'm Derek. You know me? Yeah, I know you. You're the stupid idiot who thought they were famous on the red carpet. I've never seen anything more pathetic in my entire life. It was just an accident, okay? I was daydreaming about being famous. I didn't realize that I just walked onto the red carpet. <laughs> really? That's the most pathetic thing ever. <laughs> no one like you can be famous. Look at you. My dreams aren't funny, and I am going to be famous. Oh, please. You have no talent whatsoever, and you need to get out of my store. This isn't some stupid daydream. Homeless people aren't allowed to hang out here. Get lost. I don't care what you think either. I will be famous. I know there's some big YouTuber in town and he's filming some videos here. I know I can be famous someday if someone's given me the chance. Maybe I can talk to him. I mean, he's Chad. He's one of the biggest YouTube stars there is right now. Look, there he is right there. And you better get me that triple vanilla latte right this time or I'm out. Got it? Uh, excuse me, Chad? Oh, what even are you? Are you supposed to be some gross character in my video? Because I can already tell you look awful. Uh, no. I'm a big fan and I look up to you a lot. I just want to know, what did it take for you to get so famous? Because one day I want to be famous as well. <laughs> well. You just can't become famous. You have to be born famous. Oh man, look. I really want to make content that people want to watch and I want to give back to people as well. And I think I really have what it takes. <laughs> I can tell you right now, you have no chance and absolutely no talent. Look, why is some homeless loser asking me for advice anyway? Because I looked up to you and I lost everything in my life. A tornado destroyed my town and took my family from uh, me. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I got really bored from your story. Can you leave, please? You're ruining my vibe. You know what? Fine. Can't believe I used to look up to you. Thanks for the advice, Chad. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel or whatever. I just need one break. I know I'm gonna be famous. I just gotta think of something. Come on, Derek. Whoa, hold on a second. That's famous YouTuber Lance McCreary. Uh, I think he's walking over to me. Uh, hi, uh, are you Derek, the red carpet guy? Uh, yeah, that's me. Let me guess, you came to make fun of me too. What? No, I don't wanna make fun of you. I thought it was hilarious. Besides, you didn't do anything wrong. No one should make fun of you for chasing your dreams. Yeah, I know. One day I'm gonna be famous and prove everyone that's making fun of me wrong. Well, if you need a place to start, I actually have an idea for a video. You what? Yeah, but I haven't been able to save enough money for it. But I really like your attitude, and I want you to take this and chase those dreams. Whoa, hold on a second. W what is this? $5,000. $5,000? Oh my gosh, no, I can't take this from you, Lance. Of course you can. I'm expecting big things from you, Derek. Look, I got a jack. I'm looking forward to see what you do next. Good luck with everything, man. Well, thanks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is the break I needed. I'm gonna use this and become famous in no time. Ah, uh, Derek, there you are. Dude, where have you been? Steve, you will not believe what just happened to me. I just met Lance McCreary. Lance McCreary, whoa! I love that guy's YouTube channel. And dude, he just gave me $5,000 to make his video. 5,000 bucks? That's incredible, dude. I'm so happy for you. And I know I can make a video for a whole lot less. I don't need all of this. I wanna give you some too, man. What? Derek, are you serious? Since my wife died, you're the only friend and family I have right now, Steve. I want to thank you for all the hard times you helped me through. If you weren't here for me, man, I don't know where I'd be. Here, please, take this. I can never take money from you, Derek. Why not? You deserve some money just as much as I do. That's your money to chase your dreams with. I'd rather help you out instead. Why don't I work for that money? I'm sure you need a production assistant or something. You're right, I think I do. You've got a deal. All right, now it's time to spend some of this money on making that video. I've gotta buy a camera first. Oh, gross! What are you doing here, loser? Can't afford anything in here. That's not true, Chad. I actually have enough money now to buy my first camera. In no time, I'm gonna have a new YouTube video, and I think my channel will be bigger than yours. What? How did you get that money? Must have robbed somebody. Actually, Lance McCreary gave it to me to follow my dreams because he's an incredible YouTuber, unlike some people I know. Oh, get real. It doesn't matter. You'll never be as famous as me. You should just give up. Hey, I know you. You're that daydreaming guy from the red carpet event, right? My friends and I laughed at that video for like hours. Yeah, great, thanks. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. I just thought it was really cool. A lot of people are talking about it. You're kind of going viral right now, man. Wait, really? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's not cool. Don't you get it? You're just a clown. You're never going to become famous.
Well, Steve, we made our first YouTube video. And since we both can't afford to keep our phones on, we've got to upload it here. Well, let's hurry up, man. Being around all these books uh, gives me the willies. Oh, come on, dude. It's not that bad. You know, I'm really grateful for you helping me out, man. Who knew you were such a creative guy? Well, yeah, I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. Of course I want to help you, dude. I'm your friend. I really hope this video does well. I want to make content that makes people happy, you know? That's it. The video's live. Oh, I can't wait to see how much views it gets. Well, none right now, but over time, people will see it. Hey, you two, you need to leave. Why? The library is open to everyone. Yeah, but not you two. There's people in here complaining about how bad you guys smell. Wait a second. I know you. You're that red carpet dude. You guys are funny. Oh, yeah, that was me. I mean, I think you're pretty cool. You are really a new internet sensation. Can I take a selfie with you? Wait, really? Yeah, of course. Okay, great. This is my good side. Okay, look at the camera and smile. I'm gonna post that on my Twitter. You know, you should subscribe to my new YouTube channel. We just created and uploaded our new video. I will. And I'm sorry for being so mean, but you two kind of smell bad. You should leave. Steve, you're not gonna believe it. Why, well, what's going on? The video has half a million views right now, dude. We did it. Half a million views? Derek, that's awesome. I knew this day was gonna come for you, man. Yeah, well, I never could have done it without your help, man. You seriously are my best friend, dude. Derek, this was your idea. I just held the camera. You're a really talented YouTuber. Soon, all this is gonna pay off for you, man. Like, literally, soon your YouTube channel's gonna be making money. Yeah, and I can't wait. Maybe walking onto that red carpet and looking like an idiot wasn't the worst thing that could have happened to me. Well, it didn't hurt, that's for sure. You know, I think my wife would be so proud of me right now. I'm gonna be able to make her even more proud of me, though, when I make it big time. Whoa, what are all these people doing here? Looks like something's going on. Oh, great. Oh, why do you keep showing up everywhere? Do I have to call animal control? Hey, this is a public space. I'm allowed to be here. No, you're not. This is my autograph signing. So unless you got the diamond pass, get away. Look, sorry. I didn't mean to crash your autograph signing. I'm just doing some shopping for my next video. Uh, do people actually watch that trash? Um, yeah. Over half a million people have actually. Uh, unbelievable. Let me tell you right now from a real YouTuber, your video was trash and you shouldn't make another. Well, I'm not going to listen to you. And I'm going to keep making videos until I have more subscribers than you. As if you can even get half of the subscribers I have, that's never going to happen. No one even knows who you are. Oh, hey, are you Derek? Uh, yeah, I'm Derek. Oh, man, I love your content. I can't wait to see your next video. I'm actually just about to make it soon. I appreciate that, man. Dude, why are you watching this loser's content? He's a homeless idiot, and that's all he'll ever be. Well, you'll see this homeless idiot, as you call me, make a new video and post it next Friday. So you better be on the lookout for it, man. Totally looking forward to it, man. It was really great to meet you. Ugh, unbelievable. Derek is a homeless loser and he does not deserve this much success. No one should watch his videos. They should be watching me. I'm Chad. Well, I'm gonna make sure that Derek can't make another video. And now here's my trusty flamethrower that I bought with money. <laughs> awesome. Let's watch Derek make a video now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Steve, look! Oh, the place is completely destroyed. It was burnt down, but how? Oh man, our stuff, I hope it's okay. Hey, hey, excuse me, sir. Yeah, what is it, can you see I'm a little busy? Yeah, look, I live here, okay? Did you guys find any camera equipment or anything lying around? Kid, are you serious? Look, nothing made it through this fire. Anything that was in the shelter was completely destroyed. Oh no, 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 this can't be happening. Looks like the dream is over now. No, Steve, it is not over yet. We're gonna keep making videos. We can't stop now. How are we gonna do that when all of our stuff is up in flames? We just gotta turn it around, that's all. I'll get a job, I'll earn some money, then we'll get new equipment and make more videos. We got this, I think. There's Lance filming a brand new video. I sure hope he remembers me. All right, everybody, great job today. That's a wrap. Hey, Lance, I'm not sure if you remember- Derek, oh man, it's great to see you. How have you been? Wait, you really do remember me? Of course I do, man. How can I forget you? I saw your channel. I loved the new video you put out. Wait, you did? Oh, wow, thanks, man. Hey, when's the next one coming? Yeah, that's kind of a problem at the moment. Problem? Well, what's wrong? Well, the homeless camp where I was living got burned down and all of my stuff is gone. But I'm not here to really talk about that. I'm here to talk about something else. Well, anything. What do you need, man? Well, you saw my YouTube video. Why don't you 
don't you give me a chance to direct one of yours? Hmm, I do love your style. I did love the shots in your video. No, I, okay, I'll give you a chance. You really will? Look, I promise I won't let you down, and this will be one of the best videos you have ever made. You know what? Okay, you fully convinced me. Let's give it a shot. Man, I cannot wait to help Lance with his video. That guy is so cool, and he's got some killer creative ideas, hey, too. I saw what you did. What did I do this time, Chad? You were hanging out and talking to Lance. Yeah, I'm actually going to help him out with a project he's working on. What? You're working with Lance McCleary? He's never worked with me before. I've asked him several times to make a video. He won't even respond to my DMs. And that's my problem because... Ugh, you're impossible. Do you actually think by working with Lance, you're going to be more famous than me? Probably. You're kind of an awful person. You should be nice to people for once. You better watch what you're saying, man. Don't you know who I am? I'm Chad. Yeah, I know who you are, Chad. I don't think I'm going to become more famous than you. I know I'm going to be more famous than you. Uh, whatever. You're just a pathetic loser, and you'll never be anything more than that. I don't care what you think, Chad. I'm not going to stop making content, and I'm not going to stop working with people just because you don't want me to. Good luck with your life or whatever. Hey, Derek, look, it's a real Tesla. Hey, I want to thank you guys for helping me out today. Of course, man. Dude, I'm super stoked. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. I've never been on a real YouTube set before. Oh, it's no problem. I'm real grateful that you could be here. I'm hoping filming works out today. Trust me. From my estimate, it's probably going to go number one on trending. Just a guess, though. Oh, I really hope so, man. Let's give it a shot. All right, so let's just start with your simple intro first. All right, in three, two, one. Hey everyone, before today's video, I just want to shout out my friend's channel, Derek and Steve. Make sure you go sub to them. Wait, hold on. W dude, what are you doing? I'm shouting you out. That's what YouTubers do. Wow, I didn't expect that. Uh, thanks, man. Let's film this video. Oh man, I cannot believe this. Ever since Lance shouted out our channel, it's been blowing up like crazy. Every time I refresh the page, it's like more subscribers, more subscribers. This is really starting to change my life. Hey, dude, thanks for coming by, man. Do you have any idea how much views that did for my channel? 10 million views. It's one of the best videos I've ever had. Oh, man, that's so awesome. I'm really happy for you. What did I say? I told you this was going to work. Thank you so much, Derek. So do you think I can work on your next video? Yeah, no way, man. Wait, what? Why not, dude? Because you need to make videos for yourself. You definitely have what it takes to be one of the biggest YouTubers on this platform. And you gotta focus on that. You can't be wasting time on my channel. You gotta build your own. And here, this is for you. For what? For directing my video, obviously. $10,000 should do it, right? Lance, dude, I can't take that. Well, I've made a whole lot more money than this. And it was all because of you. Now you need to invest that money in yourself. This is incredible. Thank you. So, what do you think? Dude, this is awesome. You have your own apartment. A place to live that's not a homeless shelter? It's great. Yeah, and I put six months rent down on this place. We have no choice but to make it work. Because in six months, if we don't make any more money, we're going to be homeless again. Uh, don't worry, dude. I know we can do it. Hey, thanks for letting me crash here, too. I really appreciate not sleeping in a cardboard box. What? You really thought I'd leave you hanging? Come on, Steve. I know, I know, but still, it means a lot to me. And plus, I kind of need you here. We need to focus on this channel. Got a ton of ideas, and I'm super excited to get started. Well, that's great. I'm down to film whatever you want. Awesome. Now let's start tomorrow. First thing. Wow, my first social media convention. This is so cool. Oh, great. And Chad is here, too. And that's how you make videos if you want to be a famous YouTuber like hey, me. Look, it's Derek. We got to go talk to him. Oh, Derek, Derek, is it really you? Hi. Yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. Oh, we love your videos. They're so good. Please, could I have an autograph? Yeah, well, of course. I never realized I'd be recognized like this in public. But uh, anything for one of my fans, this is for you. Oh, my gosh. Look, we just got Derek's autograph. Oh, no one's ever going to believe us. They will now because we got the autograph. Oh, yeah, that's right. No. Nah, Thank you so much, Derek. Whoa, that was kind of cool. What the heck was that? I just signed autographs to some really grateful fans. I was in the middle of telling those fans a story, and you totally ruined it. I didn't do anything. Maybe your story was kind of boring. Boring? Oh, please. How is a loser like you even getting famous in the first place? You know, Chad, I could ask you the same question. <gasps> Whatever. You suck. Dude, it finally came! Your 100,000 subscriber plaque! Oh my gosh, the silver play button? Dude, this is so cool! Look at this thing! Man, I can't believe it. Oh, 
100,000 people know who we are, man. And that's just the beginning, Derek. We're gonna get the gold plaque next. Over a million subscribers? I hope so. Trust me, dude, you're on your way to being famous. Yeah, well, I'm not even close to where I wanna be. Not yet, at least. I am happy. This is a big step and a huge accomplishment. And we've been able to help people along the way as well. Donating money to that school band? Everyone was super grateful. And that video is doing super well. You know what? You're right. It feels good to actually give back instead of taking the road Chad took. He's just mean to people. Yeah, well, don't even think about that guy. He's a total jerk. He's not worth our time. Well, now that we hit this milestone, we need to make a special video. We need to make a special video in honor of this moment. I think I have an idea. Well, this is it. This is where a lot of people that lived at our old homeless camp ended up. And I think this is the perfect spot. We need to make a new video here. I'm gonna donate all this money to these people because we know exactly what it's like to be them. It's a great idea, Derek. I feel really grateful to get out of here. <coughs> Man, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Dude, you were coughing the whole way over here. What's going on? Are you getting sick? I haven't been feeling too good for a bit. Why didn't you tell me? It's fine, it's probably just allergies. <coughs> you don't look so good. Whatever, you don't look good, you, you, uh. Steve? Steve! Hold on, hold on, man. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, yes! I need an ambulance, please! Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, what do you think you're doing? You need to wait out here. Please, that's my best friend. I've gotta be there for him. Well, right now, we need to help him. Oh, this does not look good. Nurse, I'm gonna need your assistance with this. Oh my gosh, she's flatlining! Quick, somebody, we gotta do something! Doctor, has there been any update? I'm really sorry, Derek. Fortunately, your friend passed on. That can't be right. He was fine hours ago. Your friend Steve had a very rare disease, and we don't know much about it, and there was no cure. Very sorry, Derek. There was nothing we could have done. No, he was my only friend. I, I can't lose him. Please, doctor, please. Steve, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do now, Steve. Without you here, it just doesn't feel right. I really miss you so much, dude. Hey, Derek. Are you doing okay? Not really, Lance. Losing my best friend? I mean, I spent every day with him. We work together, and I think now I'm gonna have to delete the channel. I don't think you should quit. Lance, you don't understand. I've lost everything and for the second time in my life. Now this, what am I supposed to do? Derek, you have way too much talent just to throw that all away. And you still have a roof over your head. I know, I know. I need to look at the positives still in my life, but it's just hard. Remember what you told me about your wife? How you two had that dream? You were so close. And I know you can still get that dream, Derek. If you don't think you can do this alone, you don't have to. I'm gonna work with you. I've got your back. Thanks, Lance. I'm so grateful for you and everything you've done. I'm not just gonna do this for me. I'm gonna do this for my wife and for Steve. Hey everybody, it's great to see you all out here today. Now I know you all know who Derek is. I know, I know. So we just like to announce that me and Derek are officially going to be working together. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Two favorite YouTubers, go away! Well, that's the big news for today. Look out for some new awesome content coming. Thanks again, guys! Dude, I think that was a pretty good reception. Yeah, man, they seem to be really pumped about it. Well, I'm not pumped at all! Oh, you're Brad, right? What? I'm Chad, not Brad! You're a total fraud, Derek! Because of you two idiots, nobody's watching my videos anymore! I'm a fraud? Chad, look at yourself in the mirror, okay? Since day one, you've been nothing but negative. You know, if you changed your mindset, maybe some more positive things would happen to I you. don't care. I'm not gonna let you become more famous than me. That isn't up for you to decide, Chad. You need to stop being mean to people. Yeah, and making content no one likes. Oh, uh, you know what, Derek? You suck. And you suck too, Lance. You both suck. I'm out of here. This convention's for losers. In one month, Derek, one month, you have managed to go from 100,000 subscribers to a million. Do you have any idea how crazy that is? Yeah, some guy on the news said it was the fastest growing channel of all time. I didn't believe it would happen to me. Thank you so much for throwing this party, man. Well, duh, of course, we gotta celebrate, right? I know this made your wife and Steve really proud of you, dude. Wow, that means a lot, Lance. Thanks. I'm actually famous now. This feels kind of weird. I mean, it's great, but I just wish my wife and my best friend were here to see it, you know? Listen, it's not gonna be easy, but you just gotta try and enjoy this. Think about what you accomplished today. Yeah, no, no, you're right. 
million subscribers, and this is so cool. Yeah, and you know you passed Chad in subscribers, right? Did I really? I wasn't even thinking about that. I've heard that he's been losing subscribers. He's been getting meaner and meaner in his new videos. People are really getting tired of him. Well, I think people are finally noticing how spoiled he really is. Listen, enough talking about work. Let's just enjoy the party. We deserve this. More importantly, you deserve this. Wait, hold on a second. So you're telling me people are talking about the party last night on the news? Well, it's a big deal, dude. And so are you. Well, thanks, man. It was super fun. But I have an idea for my million subscriber video. Oh, wow. Let me hear it. Well, I think this is going to be the video that's really going to make me famous. But for the right reasons. Well, I'm going to take all the money that I've made. And I'm going to rebuild the town that I grew up in. It's still in ruins to this day. And no one's been able to do anything until now. Oh, Derek, that's a great idea. I could donate too. I can even get my other YouTuber friends to pitch in. This could be one of the biggest clouds of all time. And the biggest focus is giving back to the people in that town. It's going to be awesome, but I'm torn. I haven't been back to that town since it happened. It was too painful to be there, and I don't know if it'll be too painful to be there again. It'll be painful regardless, but you need the closure. Your wife would be so proud of you. I hope so. I'm going to go back to that town, and I'm going to help those people. Oh, I didn't think it would be this bad. And this was it. This is where we lived. This was where my old life was. We didn't have a whole lot, but we had each other. I just wish I could have her back, you know? Well, you know she's looking down on you right now, right? And she's always with you. I just wish she could see all the stuff that I built today, you know? She does see it, dude. And you're doing a really good thing right now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I gotta focus on the task at hand. I need to clear out all this debris and start building these new houses. I want to give back to these people, Lance. Let's get this ball rolling. Man, I am so excited to get this project started. I've got a really good feeling about this. Hey, Borzy! How did you find me here? Doesn't matter. Word on the street is that you've been begging for money so people can be in your stupid video. What? That's not happening at all. Chad, just go away, okay? No way. I keep losing more and more subscribers every day. Now everyone thinks you're cool instead of me. Why does that matter to you? Who cares what people think? You know what I think your problem is, man? You didn't actually earn your fame. It was just handed to you, so you don't appreciate anything. You should be doing good things with your YouTube channel, Chad. Maybe you should give that a try. I don't care what you think. There's only two things that matter in this life. My views and my bank account. But listen, I didn't come here just to waste my valuable time. So then why did you come here? I want you to make a video for me. You've got to be kidding. The Chad doesn't kid, okay? I want to give you the rest of my money so you can make a video about how I helped you become famous. You've got to be kidding. You want to take credit for everything I've done? Well, yeah, of course I do. You owe it to me, man. I don't owe you anything. You've literally never done anything for me, Chad. And I would never take a dime of your money. And I'm not going to make your video. So why don't you take a hike? Uh, you know what? You're lost. This isn't over, Derek. I can promise you that. Oh, stupid Derek thinking he's better than me, thinking he's so cool. Why? Just because he's making a bunch of stupid houses for a bunch of worthless porzies? Oh, I can't stand him. He thinks he's so much better than me. I'm the famous YouTuber. People should be loving me. I need to do something before he takes everything away from me. I bet it won't be too easy to build a house when I do this. Man, I love this thing. It's so cool. <laughs> Now everybody will think Derek is an idiot who doesn't even know what he's doing. What the heck? No. We were making so much progress. No. What on earth happened here? Oh, don't worry. Everything's okay. There was a fire, but we got it out before it could spread. Well, that's a good thing. How did the fire even start, though? It looks like someone must have sneaked in and started it. Someone sneaked in and started a fire? I can only think of one person who would stoop that low and do this. Yeah, well, they're pretty bad at it, so it's a good thing. If you know who it is, you need to talk to the police right away. Chad's going to pay for what he's done. Thank you again so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming up. What do you think? I think that's a wrap. This is going to be one of the greatest YouTube videos of all time, dude. Better than the Mr. Beast Squid Game video. Well, I hope so. Hey, uh, is that Chad over there filming something? Oh, great. I've been looking for him for two months now. How's my chance? Oh, uh, you need to leave. You're ruining my shot. I've been looking for you, Chad. Why? You want to collab with me after all? No, I'm not going to collab with you. I've been looking for you, and so have the local police. We know you're the one that set fire to our project. Fire? I have no idea what you're talking about. Plus, you couldn't prove that I did it. Well, were you the one that did it? Of course I did. There's just nothing you could do to prove it. I 
thought you would say that. Oh, wh what the heck? I told Lance to call the police before I even started walking over here. I decided to call my detective friend as well. He heard our whole conversation. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, you're the worst, Derek. I hate you. They're gonna catch you, Chad. Just give it up. Wow. John, keep up. Let's go. I'm trying, Dad. Run faster. <sighs> Dad, I don't want to do this. This isn't right. We don't have time for this. The cops are right behind us. I'm not going to go through with this. I'm going to start a new life and be the person I always dreamt of being. Famous and an icon of the world, not a criminal. You are being selfish. I'm sorry, Dad. You're on your own. Hey, wait. Get back here. Ugh. John! <laughs> What's so funny? I'm being serious. I want a job. I mean, it's really hard to take you seriously when you look like that. You look homeless. Hey, look. Don't underestimate me. You have no... No idea what I'm capable of. Well, I'm sorry, kid, but no. This is a job for people with potential. And it's obvious you don't have it. I do have potential if you'll just let me show you. Please, just give me this one chance. Not a chance. Now get out of here. Uh, fine. Man, I can't seem to catch a break. Everywhere I go, people just keep laughing at me and turn me down. I want to give myself and my family the life I deserve. I want a job that's going to help me write and direct my own movie. I have a story to tell. I know the world's going to love it. I just need that one chance. This just in. Breaking news. The number one top criminal in the city has been arrested. Police are excited. This guy's going away for a long time. Oh, no. Dad. Oh, no. I'm too late. Hey, get your hands off of me. You. This is all your fault. And yeah, pipe down. Let's go, Albert. This is the last you'll hear of me. I'll be back. Oh, this is not good. Where did they take Dad? Ruby, everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. But the cops came and took our dad. Is he going to jail? I don't know, Ruby, but I'll take care of you, okay? We have nowhere to go. What do you mean we have nowhere to go? Well, the city's kicking us out of our house. What? How do you know that? Dad told me right before the cops came. Oh, well, I guess we have to go then. Just leave it to me, all right? Go pack your things. It's time we turn our lives around anyways. Don't worry, Ruby. Just a little bit further, okay? I don't want to keep walking. I'm scared. And I'm really hungry. Look, we've got to keep moving forward, all right? We've got to find a place to stay. Then we can worry about food. Oh, okay, fine. Hey, you! Oh. No, not this guy again. Ruby, stay back. Wow, looks like I was right. You guys are pretty bad off. Yeah, we haven't had the easiest start in life, that's for sure. Is this your sister? Uh, yeah. This is my little sister, Ruby. Man, I heard about your dad being a criminal and all that. I was an orphan once, too, so I know what you're going through. Thanks, mister. But, uh, John, who is this guy? Uh, this is the manager of the movie store downtown. I asked him for a job earlier, and he turned me down. What are you doing here, anyways? Look, I can see you two are now on your own. I really like to help out. Really? You didn't want to help out before. I know, but seeing you two like this really changed everything. Why don't you come stay with me for now? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then maybe he can do this. Hey, John, uh, hope this place is nice enough for you. Oh, yeah, no, this is incredible. I'm beyond grateful. Thank you so much. Great, I'm glad. Uh, so how's Ruby doing? Oh, she really misses our dad a lot. They were really close. Yeah, she uh, seems to be pretty down. But I think she'll be okay. At least we have a nice place to stay in the meantime. Well, yeah, it's the least I could do. Say, what's in your hand there. Oh, this, uh, it's just a basic script of a movie I want to write. Let me take a look at this. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it's my first movie. It's not the best, but I think it has some potential. You know, this is pretty impressive stuff. Thank you. Me and my grandfather used to write together all the time. My grandfather wanted to be a director more than anything, and he kind of inspired me to be one, too. That is a pretty big dream. Not everyone can be a director. Yeah, that's true, but I want to do it more than anything. For my grandpa, for my sister, and for myself. I know this movie could be something huge. You know, after getting to know you, you do have a lot of potential. How'd you like to work at my place? Wait, are you, are you serious? I know I said no before, but things are different now. Hopefully this can help achieve your dream. Yeah, no, thank you so much. This would be incredible. I need to start somewhere. Oh, my sweet little Ruby. Oh, I miss you so much. Oh, this is all John's fault I got caught. He didn't turn his back on me, him and the family. Maybe things would be different around here. Maybe they wouldn't be stuck in this stupid cell. My own son stabbing me in the back. It's the worst kind of betrayal. Hey, Albert, you got a visitor. Come on, visitor. Who is it? I don't know. Some guy. Let's go. Jared, my old friend. Ha, long time no see. Albert, what are you doing locked up in here? Ah, uh, just a little hiccup, that's all. What do you want? Well, seeing as how I owe you a lot for getting me rich, I'm bailing you out. You know, Jared, everyone used to talk bad about you. You're a good guy. <laughs> this is great. I can't stand this place. All you got 
gotta do is sign some paperwork and you're free. Perfect, and then I'm gonna go see my kids. I miss my sweet little Ruby. Speaking of your kids, I happen to know exactly where they are. Always one step ahead, Jared. Ha, there we go. Perfect. I got a lot of payback I need to dish out. So from what you told me, honestly, I think this is the best movie for you, and you're not gonna see it. The twist at the end is insane. Wow, really? You think so? Oh, trust me, man. I know so. I've seen this movie like five times. It's really good. You'll love it. You know, you really know your movies. This is the best service I've gotten in forever. <laughs> Thanks. Movies are kind of my passion. I'm a bit of a nerd. You're not a nerd. Never give up on that passion. One day you're going to be famous. That is my goal. One day I'm going to have my own movie out there. Just wait. Well, here. Thanks for all your help. Here's a tip. What? A tip? We, we can't accept tips. Take it and never give up on all the hard work. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the movie. Thanks. Hey, John. So how's your first day going? Oh, uh, it's going pretty good. I actually think I really like this job. And I've got to say thank you. Without you, I wouldn't have had this opportunity. Well, just keep up the good work. You've got big things ahead of you. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a second to call Ruby. I just want to check up on her real quick. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Uh, thanks. Come on, Ruby. Pick up. Hey, you've reached Ruby. I'm not here right now. Leave a message. Huh. Well, that's weird. I wonder why she wasn't answering the phone. I'll ask her about it later. I've got to get back to work. Wow, so this is where you and your brother are staying now, huh? Really nice place. Yeah, it was really nice of that manager to let us stay here. But, Dad, how did you get out? And how did you know where we were staying? Uh, none of that matters anyway. Sweetheart, I missed you so much. I missed you too, Dad. I bet jail was scary. Eh, it wasn't too bad. I'm a tough guy. This is all your brother's fault. He's the reason why I got put in jail in the first place. He turned his back on me, Ruby. Wait, John did that? He did. He left me high and dry. And the cops were too hot on my tail. I couldn't lose him. Look, stop questioning all this, all right? Just pack your thing. You and I are getting out of here. Okay, Dad. Sounds good. So happy to see you again. And I'm happy to see you too, darling. Now go get your things. This place is a nice place. Time for me to do what I do best. <laughs> what? What happened to this place? Where is everything? It looks like you've been robbed. Yeah, clearly. Everything I have is gone! How could this have happened? Where's my sister? Ruby? Ruby, where are you? It's probably her that did all this. She probably took it all. I can't find her anywhere. I don't think she's in the house. Where could she have gone? Oh, I'm starting to get worried. All right, cut the act, John. Cut the act? What are you talking about? I know this was you and Ruby. What? No, absolutely not. My sister would never do this. You completely used me. Peter, listen, I didn't do this, and I know Ruby didn't either. This had to have been our father. I can't believe this. After all the things I did for you, I gave you a house, I gave you a job, and I even got you an interview with a movie company and this is how I'm repaid I can't believe it wait you did what I got you an interview with a director so you could talk about your movie how is this even possible well it's not important anymore enjoy it and get out of my house wait Peter please listen I, I promise I'll find out what happened and I'll make this right okay I said get out all right come on maybe pick up please please hey you've reached Ruby I'm not oh, here right now voicemail Wait, again I'm worried sick. Where is she? Why isn't she answering her phone? I feel so bad about what happened to Peter. All this stuff? I'll think about that later. Now I've got to focus on this. All right, John, you're up, kid. Let's go. All right. Hi. Thank you so much for uh, meeting with me. I really appreciate it. Uh-huh, yeah. So I got this script uh, that you put together, and I gotta say, it's some pretty great stuff. You really think so? Absolutely. I haven't seen anybody write like this in years. This could be a blockbuster hit. Well, wow. I thought so, too. And so did my grandfather. It's his story, and I want to tell it. Are you sure you can handle it, kid? I can handle it? What do you mean? I mean, you look pretty homeless. Yeah, my family and I, we don't have much. And that means I need this chance more than ever. I'm going to work so hard and make sure that this story is told for me and my family. Now that's the attitude you like to hear. You're going to have to prove it, kid, because you have that opportunity now. I really do? So you're going to help me with this movie? That I am. I'm just that generous. Now show up at the filming studio next week, all right? Then we'll get started. <laughs> Oh, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Hey, Grandpa. I know you're looking down on me and you probably already saw it, but I think it's actually happening. Someone's going to be making our movie. This is my big chance to prove myself. I hope I can make you proud. Um, give me a phone call. Hey, Ruby, there you are. I've been worried sick. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm with Dad. <sighs> you're with Dad? Of 
course you are. I knew he was behind all of this. Ruby, you can't stay with him. What? He's my dad. I'm supposed to stay with him. Yeah, but Ruby, we shouldn't be around that life, okay? Dad is a criminal. Well, I missed him. And regardless if he was a criminal, he's still my dad, and I love him. I know, and I love him too, but we need to be away from that life. I'm sorry, John. It's just not gonna happen. Ruby, please listen to me. No, I'm not listening to you. Later, John. Ruby, wait, don't... Ugh, man. Grandpa, I really need this movie to change my life. And Ruby's. For the better. Wish me luck. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Thank you again. You guys did great today. Oh, man, I'm feeling really good about this. I think this movie's really gonna turn out. I was able to find a place to live. And everything seems to be going on track. I just wish Ruby would talk to me some more. Ooh, yeah, look, it's John. It's really him. Can't wait for the movie, bro. It's gonna be so awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Your family must be so proud of you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. Yeah, I wish my family was proud of me. Wait, what is happening? Oh, no. The store is getting robbed. This can't be good. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm robbing this place. Now get out of the way. I know you. You're my dad's old friend, Jared. Yeah, and he's here doing a job for me. Now grab all the cash you can get, Jared. Let's go. The police will be here any second. Dad, this is not right. I know the man that owns this place. You can't do this to him. I can do whatever I want. You're just an awful person. What did you say? I said you're an awful person. And so are you. You're the one that turned your back on me and your whole family. Imagine how grandpa would be if he could see you doing this right now. He'd be so disappointed in the person you became. Don't you dare bring my father into this. And what about Ruby, huh? Ruby shouldn't be part of this life. You know that. I'm doing all this for you and her. Well, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to turn you into the cops. Oh, yeah? Well, it sounds like the cops are already on their way. Hey, Dad, stop. <sighs> gone. Well, at least they caught one criminal. You're not going anywhere. You know, John, you're really starting to build up a reputation for yourself. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, from making a movie to stopping criminals, you're going to be the most famous person in the world at this rate. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know about that. I believe in you. Now let me go take this guy to the station. Thanks, officer. Appreciate it. I don't feel so stoked about stopping the criminal part, but maybe he's right. News about this movie is spreading like wildfire. I just hope I deliver. Hey! John! Hey, Peter! Hey, uh, I heard about what happened. Look, I tried to stop both of them, okay? But it was my dad, and he got away. The man can run super fast. Listen, John, I shouldn't have accused you and your sister. I'm really, really sorry. Uh, it's okay. I understand. You came home, and all of your stuff was gone. I understand why you reacted that way. Well, your dad might have stolen all the stuff from my house, but at least you stopped him from robbing my store, and I appreciate that a lot. Well, of course. I just wish there was something more I could do. I'm so sorry about all this. You know what? Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. So what is this place? This is the place that I grew up. You grew up in an orphanage? That's right. I didn't even have a father. Oh, I'm really sorry. It's okay. No, I probably didn't want to meet him anyway, seeing as how he left me behind. Left you behind? Man, that has to be one of the toughest feelings on the planet. I wish that sometimes my dad was someone else. I wish I could just have a normal functioning family, you know? Like the ones you see on the TV and in the movies. I wish I had a dad that believed in me and my goals. Instead, I've got a wanted criminal. Well, I believe in your goals, John. You have great potential. You really are on your way to show it to the world. Well, thanks a lot. A lot of this is because of you. You got me the meeting with that director and the agent. And you've been helpful so far. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. That's no trouble. Say, you want to go grab something to eat? All this emotional talk is making me pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds great. Uh, uh, I think I lost him. Uh. Dad, what are you doing home so late? Ah, uh, you know, I just got caught up with a couple, two, three things at work, you know, and, uh, no big deal. Jeez, you're holding a lot of money. Is that your paycheck? Yeah, because I got this new job. I got a lot more income coming in than usual, honey. Wow, well, that's awesome, Dad. You're really working hard. I'm proud of you. Uh, it's all for you one day. I'm going to leave you everything I got. I want you to learn from me and be just like me. Oh my gosh, yeah, of course, Dad. You know, I've really been thinking, I just don't get why John doesn't approve of this. I mean, is what you're doing bad? Of course not. People like John just don't understand the position our family is in, alright? Our family is stronger because of the things that we do. Well, even if it's taking money that isn't exactly ours? Exactly. The people I steal from don't deserve this money, okay? We do. Look at the life we've lived, huh? Yeah, we've had a great life, but I don't know. What if they worked really hard for their money, too? 
trust me, sweetheart. I wouldn't steal from any hard-working people. You'll trust me, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> You're my dad. Since my old partner isn't really in the picture anymore, I've been thinking. I think it's time I teach you about the family business. What do you say? Oh my gosh, yes, of course. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. The movie's done. Thank you all so much. We'll see you all at the premiere. Thanks, man. This is gonna be the best movie that's ever written, like, ever, and definitely the best one I've acted in. Oh, thank you so much. I really hope it's gonna be a hit. You did an incredible job. You're a great actor. Yeah, thanks, I know. I can't believe this movie's actually gonna be released. The whole world is going to see it. Yeah, my whole family's gonna be there, too, and they can't wait either. Well, I'll see you at the big premiere, then. Yeah, see you later, dude. John, congratulations! Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Peter. So, uh, what's going on? I can tell you're a little stressed. Well, I've just been wondering about my family, you know? I'm worried about Ruby and my dad, oddly enough. Why are you worried about them? You should be happy right now. Trust me, I am really happy about the movie, but my family means more to me than all this fame. I've been trying to call Ruby every single week, and she never picks up or returns any of my voicemails. I just hope she's okay. Listen, if Ruby's anything like you, she's completely okay. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you two, get back here! That's my stuff! <laughs> Keep running! Keep running! Someone help! Uh, I think we lost him. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did, Dad. You're right. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Oh, honey, you are going to be just like me. Don't worry. Did you see the look on that guy's face? He's pathetic. <laughs> Come on, man. Pick up. Pick up. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Not good, man. Look, I'm going to need a raise. I just got robbed, dude. Wait, what? You've just been robbed? Yeah, they took everything, dude. All my money's gone. Oh no, look, I'll be right there, okay? I'll help you get this all sorted out, I promise. Hey, Jack. Listen, son, just go to sleep. We'll sort this all out, okay? But Dad, I'm like wicked worried. How are we gonna be able to afford this place? Don't worry, I'll figure everything out. Now you get some sleep. I hope so, Dad. I don't wanna be poor. Good night. Jack, look, I am so sorry about everything that happened. No, I'm sorry for all this, man. I know the movie's premiering tonight, so this must be so much to handle right now. It might be premiering, but it's not a big deal, okay? You're one of my lead actors, and I want to make sure you're alright. So, do you have any security footage in this place? Or any idea who could have done this? I've got the security footage, but I wasn't able to make out the faces. Maybe let me take a look. Four eyes are sometimes better than two. Alright, here. Look, see? It's them right there. Oh, of course. I know exactly who that is. That's my dad. Your dad robbed me, man? Yeah, it's kind of his thing. It looks like he's got my sister in on it, too. Ruby, how? How could she do this? Come on, Ruby, pick up, please. Hey, you've reached Ruby. I'm not here right now. Oh, come on! Ruby, how could you do this? How could Dad let this happen, too? Oh, my gosh, there she is right there. Ruby! Oh, uh Hey, John. Ruby, what is going on? How could you? You know what you're doing is wrong. No, I've done a lot of thinking. And from what Dad's been telling me, he's actually right. You betrayed him, John. What? That is not true. Dad is lying to you. He's trying to manipulate you. No, you betrayed him by getting him arrested. Ruby, being a criminal and taking other people's money isn't right, and you know it. That's something neither of us should do. It's selfish. Speaking of selfish, you're the one leaving the family behind to become famous. Ruby, please don't do this this. Don't turn into this type of person. Don't be like dad. No, my mind's already made up. I want to be like dad. Ruby, why? Please just listen to me, okay? I don't want any of this for you. You're my little sister and I want to take care of you. Yeah, right. You don't care about family. Hey, Peter, not really good time right now. Where are you? The premiere's starting. Uh, can't they just hold on for a couple more minutes? I'm stalling as much as I can, but if you're not going to make it, it's going to start without you. You need to get here now. Uh, hey, Peter. There you are. Where have you been? Look, it's kind of a long story. I ran into Ruby. Well, everyone's been waiting for you. Look, Peter, I don't think I can go through with this tonight. There's a lot going on, okay? John, I know you've got a lot going on. We gotta push it all off for now. This is the most important night of your life. I know. I've been talking about this night for weeks. But the stuff with my family, I just can't focus right now. Here, maybe this will help. Ladies and gentlemen, after watching this movie, it is easily one of the best made in years. And here we have the creator, John. John, now tell me, what is your inspiration for this movie? Where did it come from? Oh, it actually came from my grandfather. Him and I used to write, and we came up with this story together. I wanted to make this into a movie for him. You and your grandfather's writing really pay off. We've got something magical here, folks. Now, John, tell me, how does it feel to be one of the most famous people on the planet right now? 
now. I, uh, it feels really great. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Talented and humble. Well, it looks like my selfish son finally achieved his dream. Hope it was worth turning his back on his family. I don't know, Dad. What if he is right? What do you mean, Ruby? What are you talking about? We got into a fight over how stealing is wrong, and I mean, I don't know. Look, get all of that nonsense out of your head, okay? Your brother is feeding you lies, Ruby. Lies! This is what we are meant to be. Yeah, maybe John just is jealous, and he can't accept that. Exactly. Look at the success he's got now. He's probably so happy that we're not in his life. He's not even thinking about us at all. That's true. Who turns their back on their family? An evil person. That's who, Ruby. Because of all this. Look at your brother on TV and stuff. I've got an idea. What do you have in mind, Dad? I think it's time we get a little payback towards your brother. Teach him a lesson. <laughs> the first movie was a hit. It's time to start working on my next one. I think I'm going to make this a little bit more personal, though. I definitely have a story I need to tell. Hey, John, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing all right, Peter. Thanks for asking. Oh, my gosh. Did you say John? John, you're the greatest. I'm, the, I'm your biggest fan. Wow, really? Uh, thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. It's great meeting you. Bye. I still can't believe after all of this hard work, it actually paid off. I have fans now that come up to me and say hi. This is crazy. Crazy. Yeah, it is pretty crazy, but uh, I can tell something's up, so why don't you talk to me about it? What's going on in that head? Well, it's just my sister. Everything just doesn't sit right with me. I have to do something to get her to understand. Make her come to her senses. Well, from what I can tell, she loves her dad way too much, and she's willing to do whatever she can to have that relationship with him. Yeah, you're right. My sister and my dad are really close. I had that relationship with him too for a while, until I saw what he was really like. Evil monster. You gotta remember, she's still young, and she's also your sister. Which means that, give enough time, she'll come to her senses and be the person that you want her to be. Well, I just want her to be the best version of herself, not what I want her to be. She'll come around eventually, I hope. I think she will. You know, Peter, I've got to say thank you for everything. Honestly, you're kind of like the father I never actually had. Wow, that means a lot to me, John. Well, I guess I better focus. Get started on writing this next movie. Oh, wait a second. I got a text. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is not good. Oh, no, no! Everything is gone! Yeah, it looks like you've been robbed. The alert on my phone said something was happening at my house. I had no idea. Oh, man. This has to be my family, right? This has to be my dad. Yeah, looks like there's nothing left but this note. Thought I'd get a little payback. <laughs> Enjoy it. Of course it's him. Ugh, my father. He is the worst person on this planet. Can't believe a man would do that to his own child. And someone would do that to their own brother. My sister is involved too. I know it. She's gone too far. She has to come to her senses right now. I'm not going to give her the option. Can't believe she would hurt me like this. What is that? A helicopter? Yeah, it looks like the news already found out about this too. Perfect. This is going to be everywhere. The entire world gonna know about this. Yeah, I think the whole world's gonna know that your family is the one that did it too. No, I think that's what's gonna hurt the most. Oh, look at all this stuff. I just wish I could have seen the look on your brother's face when he found out. Man, Dad, I didn't think you were actually going through with this. Well, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? John deserves this more than anyone. Selfish little jerk. Do you think you had to rob him to teach him this lesson? You might have gone too far, Dad. He's still our family. He is not my son anymore. If anything, I haven't gone far enough. Wait a minute. There's breaking news. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. World-famous movie director John has had quite the evening. His home was broken into, and he has been completely robbed. By none other than his own family. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like now we're famous too, Ruby. We're on TV. Yeah, but we're not on TV for a good reason, Dad. This isn't good. Hey, I told you I would never steal you wrong, all right? This is just the beginning, sweetheart. Just the beginning? Oh, yeah. John's life is gonna be miserable. And anyone that knows him is gonna be miserable too. I'm gonna steal from every single person he cares about. Starting with his stupid friend, Peter. <laughs> Grandpa, I wish you were here more than anything. I don't know what to do anymore. I feel like I should have been there to make sure Ruby didn't do this. Like I shouldn't have run away. But I don't know. I thought I made the right choice. You always knew what to do. I wish you were here to tell me now. There he is! John! John! Oh, no. Is it true that your family is a bunch of criminals? Listen, this isn't the place to be talking about this stuff, okay? I'm having a personal moment. John, you are famous. All these people behind you want answers. Look, I think this is just too much. So tell me, John, how does it feel to have criminals for family members? It must feel pretty terrible to have your own family steal 
from you. I, I just can't do this. John, wait, please. I've got more questions. <sighs> I think I can hide here. This is awful. This isn't what I wanted my life to become. I just want things to be okay. Oh, what is this? It's Ruby. She says, I want to meet you. We need to talk. Yeah, let me text her back. Name the place. I'll be there. Wow, this place is really nice. You guys must have stolen a lot of money to be able to afford this. Real funny, John. Look, I'm actually really regretting being a criminal. Yeah, you should regret it. I've told you multiple times it's not the right thing to do. And you know it's not. I know, but I just really wanted Dad to be proud of me. And I wanted to stick with the family. That's all I have. I know, too, because I was in the same position. I wanted to be close to Dad as well. And you're my sister, and I love you. And we're all family, but our dad is a bad influence to be around. Yeah, I'm actually figuring that out now. And I'm really sorry. I didn't think he'd go as far to rob his own son. I know. And just think, if he gets upset with you, he'd probably do the same to you, too. Dad is the one that's really selfish. Well, here, this actually belongs to you. I think it should be everything that he took. Thanks, but you know if he finds out about this, he's not going to be happy. I know, and he actually has a lot more planned, too. A lot more planned? That's not good. If this keeps happening, the whole world is going to know more and more about me. And I'm going to be famous for being the son of the most wanted criminal on the planet. Not my movie. And that's why this needs to stop now. All right. Now it's time I'm going to rob this place blind. Hello, Albert. Uh, you're here. Well, I figured you'd try to rob me after everything else you've pulled. You don't know anything. I know what I need to know. I know how terrible of a father you've been to John and how I've had to step in to be his father figure. You don't know anything about my son. He's got this lie spread about me. Uh, it's all his fault what happened. He was the one that wanted to be famous. He turned his back on his family to do it. It was his dream to do it. A dream that your father inspired. The one who should be ashamed is you. Ah, I'll have time to hear this, let alone from some pathetic loser like you. It's a shame because everything I've said is true. You're in denial because you know that I'm right. Just shut up. You don't know anything about me. Oh, I know enough. I I was an orphan, and I wish that I had a father. But looking at this situation, I'd rather be an orphan than have a dad like you. Ugh, this isn't the last you'll see of me. There he is, right there. Like you said he would be. I can't believe it. I still can't believe he's going through with this. We've got to stop him now. Dad, stop where you are right now. Well, if it isn't my good-for-nothing famous son. Ruby, what are you doing with him? I'm here to help John. You're going to help him? Oh, so you're turning your back on me too, huh? John's brainwashed you, Ruby. Get real. No, he hasn't, Dad. I'm finally seeing things for myself. The only person in the wrong here is you, Dad. And it's not too late to realize it. You two have become the most ungrateful kids on this planet. After everything I've done for you, all of this crime, stealing, thievery, all of it was so that you two could have a good life and not worry about being homeless. Yeah, but there are other ways to do it. I'd rather be homeless and a good man than be a criminal and a bad one. Oh, great. And now you brought the news with you, huh? It serves you right, Dad. You need to be exposed for your criminal behavior. Dad, please just make the right decision here. It's not too late. It is too late. It's way too late for me. And both my kids have turned against me. Never in a million years did I think this would happen. Dad! Dad, wait! Dad, I don't know where I went wrong. I wish you were here to help me, though. You always kept me in check. I knew I'd find you here. What do you want? Come to embarrass me more, or are you gonna throw me in jail? I came to talk to you, Dad. Look, Grandpa's not here anymore, but your kids are here. Ruby and me. It's not too late to fix this. It's way too late now, John. You can still turn yourself in, and when you get out of jail, we can actually be a family. I'm just so, so angry at you that you would run away from me just so you could become famous. I did did it because I wanted a better life for our family. And if it's something that I could have done, I had to do whatever it took. And if you do the right things from here on, we can have a better life as a family together. After everything I did, you could really forgive me. Of course I could, as long as you do the right thing. 